Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in There are many demons, but there's only one. Electro demon. Hi guys, today I'm presenting to you a list of the most promising upcoming retro shooters. We have five games on our list and all of them should hopefully come out this year, in 2020. But take this with a grain of salt, you know how development can be, especially for small indie teams. So to start off our list, let's go with number five. At number five we have a game called Hell Hunt. It's a fast-paced retro shooter inspired by Quake, Doom and Duke 3D. To me this looks like Dusk and Quake 1 had a child. It's made by just one guy, as far as I can tell. He goes by the name of T19GS. He does everything by himself. It looks like the game has slow motion elements, which combined with lots of pixelated blood can only be a good thing. On the 25th of April he tweeted that the demo for the game should arrive in few weeks. I can't wait. There is a one minute trailer he posted on YouTube and it showcases the gameplay, weapons, enemies and you get a general sense of how the game is gonna play. At the end of the trailer it says the release date is in 2020. I hope he delivers on that. The game looks really amazing. At number 4 we have a game called Hellbound. It's an indie game made by an Argentinian studio called Cybot Studios. It's an FPS inspired by the classics of the 90s. To me its biggest inspiration seems to be Doom. The game letters saying Hellbound are pretty much the same as Doom letters. Nothing wrong with that. There is a demo available on Steam and I also uploaded the full demo gameplay on my channel. The link is in the description. So if you want to check out the game you can do so with the demo. It's really fast paced and currently there's a shotgun, rifle, chain gun and a bat in the game as weapons. They all have a great sound and feel to them. The demo is short but worth playing to get a feel for the game. The release should happen in 2020 and judging by the gameplay available now it's gonna be a great game. At number 3 we have a game called Wrath Aeon of Ruin. Developed by Killpixel Studios and published by the legendary publisher 3D Realms. It's a unique game. It's made in the Quake 1 engine, so it's not emulating retro shooters, but rather it's actually being one with its old school engine. By the look of the gameplay it looks like a spiritual successor to Quake 1 and I feel this is the Quake sequel we never got. The art looks awesome, low poly enemies also look pretty good and I think this is gonna be one of the best retro shooters in 2020. The only complaint I have is with the save system. Basically the game uses save items you can find in the world. I don't really see the point in this. Quick saves always were and will be a superior way of saving progress. And if you're going for the old school feel it makes even more sense to include quick saves. The game is available on Steam and it's in early access. The full and finished release should happen in 2020 and I can't wait to play the full game. At number 2 we have a game called Ultra Kill. This is also an old school shooter inspired by the classics of the genre. But it has a unique take on movement and health. Basically you replenish health by bathing yourself in the blood of enemies. Such a unique and cool mechanic in my opinion. It's extremely fast paced and has no ammo, but instead weapons have a cooldown. But switching your weapons can get you around that cooldown. There's tons of blood on offer here and you can paint the walls red, literally. It's made in the Unity engine by just one guy, RC Hakita Patala, and there is a demo available. There's only two weapons in that demo, but it's enough for satisfying your need for pixelated blood. I have a full gameplay playthrough of the demo available on my channel, the link is in the description. Hopefully the game should release in 2020 in its full form. 
At number one, we have a game called Proteus. It's also an old school FPS inspired by the classics of the genre, but it's pretty unique. It resembles old school Doom gameplay. The game is made in the Unity engine, as far as I can tell. Environments are 3D, but the enemies are sprites, but highly detailed sprites, and the game emphasizes high quality effects. I'm very interested in all of these games on our list, but Proteus has piqued my interest the most. It's so unique looking and so close in capturing that old school Doom feel. It has tons of pixelated blood, which of course is expected and always welcome in a retro shooter. The gameplay seems to follow the Doom formula, with its seal off doors and collecting key cards. Nothing wrong with that. The developer even posted an update, saying that they found a publisher, which is Humble Bundle. I'm glad things are going well. The soundtrack in this game is composed by Andrew Halschalt who is a famous retro shooter musician. He did soundtracks for some big games. He doing the soundtrack for Proteus is fucking awesome. The planned release of the full game should happen in 2020 and I can't wait to play this. It looks like a masterpiece in the making, if judging by the gameplay so far.